Hi guys, welcome to Johnny Mathematics. I have got a brand new 90 quid camera and I'm hoping, and as I'm sure you can see, the quality is um, that much better. Now, just to sort of reintroduce myself, I am an ex-policeman, builder, and outdoor pursuits instructor. And I've been teaching maths for the last 27 years at five different comprehensives over here in the UK. Um, my focus, I'm going to do a series of videos, and my focus is going to be on the most easily accessible, higher tier um, topics um, from the GCSE syllabus. Okay, so how can we pluck the most sort of low hanging um, fruit from the tree from that higher paper to maximize to sort of optimize our grade? Okay, that is my plan. As ever, um, I'm going to have my fantastic assistant and daughter Nina, who I'm going to be teaching this material to uh, live. Okay, I kind of think it comes over much better if I do that. So, uh, can you put a uh, the heading in in your book or wherever you're writing this down, please? Can you put the heading um, fractional and negative powers? Okay, cool. Um, so let's go. So if, um, if I said to you, what is nine to the power of half, uh, Nina, then would you know what the answer to that is? Probably not. You probably wouldn't. Okay. Um, uh, not a problem at all. Um, it is a posh way of writing square root. Okay. So what's the square root of nine, Nina? Three. Okay, so all you need to know is it's a posh way of writing square root. What do you imagine, um, Nina, that, um, let's say, I'll do it over here, 64 to the power of a third is? Cube three. Cube root, yeah, well done, very good. So if that is half is square root, then that will be cube root, okay? And I'm gonna put you on the spot here. Um, what is the cube root of 64? Four. It's four, yeah, yeah. well done, yeah. She, she hasn't rehearsed this, honestly. Um, it is four. And of course, the reason it's four is because Four times four times four is sixty-four, just like is three times three is nine. Okay, so I think this is my first step. Okay, um, I'm going to put a bunch of questions on the board. Um, they're going to get progressively harder to kind of build up our confidence. Please have a go. And please um, pause the video so you can um, do these questions. You've had a good go at those questions and what are your uh, answers please um, I might just ask you a couple of questions okay. Nina I don't know but go on, actually go on Nina let me pick on you what's, um, what's the answers um, eight no, oh, that, no, 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 no that will be eight four. you see will be that will be cock up number one people <laughs> often have it and, and actually it, it's not is it what's no, it gonna it, be it's Nina four. it's four because four times four is sixteen Two. keep going Five, three, two, 
Tell me why it's 2. 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, 8 times 2 is 16. Yeah. Um, and best guess? 3. three. So let's see if you are right, Nina. 3, 9, 27, 81. It's 3. It's three. And by the way, the answers to these are, they're going to be kind of two, three, four, five, um, kind of ten. It's unlikely to be anything other than that, okay? Because they tend to get very quick, um, um, very big, faster. Okay? So, I think that is um, step number one. Um, let's go to... The next level. Okay. Are you good so far, Nance? Yeah. Yeah, I think so. Good. Okay. So there's nothing clever going on here. It's just remembering. It's kind of math terminology, really. That's what it is. Um, so, what do you imagine the answer to? That might be, Nina. Um, like nine. You think it might be nine, okay? Yeah. And let me tell you, you, you are right, okay? And in order to um, break this down properly, so in every case you can answer it, okay, um, this is how you must think. Two thirds can be split into a third times two, okay? And if, if you're not sure about the fractions, feel free to have a look at Johnny Mathematics Fractions videos, okay? Um, but two thirds can be split into a third times two. We now know that 27 to a third is gonna be three, and three squared is gonna be nine okay um what do you think i don't know 16 to the five quarters would be um, uh dina what do you think would be 10. you see she, she's starting to struggle now and, and i know why you've said 10 but if you set it out nina step by step okay then you, you will come out with the right answer, okay? If you try and just go straight for the answer or set it out in your own sort of cocked up way, then I think it will get you so far. But if you've got a systematic approach, it, it really will make a huge difference. So, um, I would teach my students to stick to the method, a quarter times five, so, Nina, what's 16 to the power of a quarter? Um, is it two? Let's see if you're right. Two times two times two times two. Two, four, eight, 16. Yeah, it is two. And then two, two to the power of five. Do use your fingers. That's what your fingers are there for. Two, four, eight, 16, 32. Okay, so, you know, if you write it down step by step, you, you're far less likely to make a mistake, okay? So, again, I wanna, I'm, I'm kind of building this up slowly. Um, I'm gonna ask a whole bunch of questions that are probably gonna get harder, okay? Uh, do these. Maybe you can be thinking about what the answers are, perhaps. Okay. <laughs> and uh, let's have a look. Um, I don't know.
people. Okay, do pause the video and um, have a go. Um, right, so um, answers wise. Uh, go on, I'm just going to go straight for the answers here, I think. Um, Nina, what's the answer for the first one? Um, I thought, okay. Um, well, as two, two, and then uh, to, and four. And then four. Um, yes, correct, it's four. So four. Then a thousand to a third is ten, and then ten squared is a hundred. Well done if you're getting these right. Then the square root of 16 is 4, and then 4 cubed is... 64. Mm -hmm. Pretty sharp, Nina, pretty sharp. Uh, can you see this red on the video, Nina? Oh, yeah, yeah. Well done, good. And then have a look at here. Square root of 25 is 5, and then 5 cubed is... 125. Good, 125. Well done, Nina. 125, then 32, I'll set this one out properly, so 32 to the 5th is 2, and can you see we're getting the same numbers coming up all the time, and then 2 to the power of 6 is 64, good, it's 64, okay, <laughs> now we're nearly there, okay, we are nearly there, um, so we've got one more step and then we have finished. We have done fractional and negative powers. This is going to be worth probably three marks to you, which is a huge amount of marks on the higher paper. When you consider um, you only need 32 out of 80 um, in order to get yourself uh, a level six. Okay, so these marks are really significant. And look, one thing I failed to tell you at the beginning the key, the question they're going to ask is, and can you write it down now? It's going to be evaluate, okay? Which is just a posh word for uh, what is the value of, okay? Evaluate. Just drawing the board here. Now. So, this is the uh, final thing. Nina, you um, haven't seen this before. If I said to you what is 2 to the minus 3, um, I'm guessing you wouldn't know what that means, would you? No. Okay. And look, this isn't really an adequate explanation. I would normally, when I teach this, build up to this. but. At this stage, you probably need to remember that if it says minus three, you've got to stick it under a one. If it says minus, what do you do, Nina? Stick it under a one. A one, correct. Okay. Now, what's two to the power of three, Nina? An um, eight. One over eight. So, um, look at this. Um, 9 to the minus half. Uh, tell me where to stick it, Nina. Under the 1. <laughs> yeah, under the 1. I'm sticking it under the 1. And what is 9 to the power of half? Oh, um, 3. 3. Don't let me down, Nina, please. It is 3. So it is a third, isn't it? Okay, it's the third. Half. So... All you have to do is stick it under one and then do all the processes that we've learned so far in this video. Okay? Do a bunch of questions. Do these, please. This will probably be your kind of ultimate question 
on the higher GCSE paper, something like this. And then it's got a bracket around it and squared. Okay. So do pause the video. Right. Um, let's go over the answers. Okay. So Nina, the fact that it says minus four, uh, tell me where to stick it. Under one. Under one. Okay. And what is two to the power of four? Um, sixteen. You wanted to say eight, didn't you? <laughs> It's not, is it? It's 2 times 2 times 2 times 2. That is 16. Um, here, stick it under a 1. And 16 to the power of half is 4. Okay. Uh, this one here, go through the steps, Nina, bit by bit. Um, so you stick it under the 1. Yeah. Um, so then... What do I split 2 thirds into? Um, 1 third times 2. And what's 8 to the 3rd? Oh, um, 2. And what's 2 squared? 4. So it's 1 over 4. Well done if you got that right. Um, this one here, I'm doing it quickly. Um, 16 to the 5 fourths, that's going to be 1 over 2 to the 5 which is going to be 1 over 32. Okay, you're going to do this last one, Nina. I'll do it in black, step by step, right? Mm, okay. uh, let's ignore the squared, do everything in the black bracket first. Go on. Okay, so it would be under the 1. Yeah. And then you do um, t 27... Time, yeah, third, then times two, and then you do, a th then you do three, and then be one over nine squared. And I always teach my students that whenever you see or do anything squared, always write it out twice in order to minimize. Cockups. So what's the answer then? 181st. Would you say that? 81st? 81. Okay. So one, 1 over 81. And that is pretty much it. Fractional and negative powers. Um, look, I really hope you have learned something there. And I hope you enjoyed the video. Um, I'm going to do a series of videos like this. In my view, this is the um, one of the easier topics for the higher level paper. The reason, it's not just the ease of it, it's the fact that it's always written in a fairly straightforward way. Okay, um, I'm going to be doing a whole bunch of videos like this and it, it will make um, revising and getting that level six and seven for you, it's going to make it that much um, easier. Okay. Please feel free to uh, subscribe and um, watch any further videos. Thank you.